Hey everyone, Mark the Movie Man here. Welcome to the Final Cut, and I've got one for you today that's definitely an interesting one. It's called Rock, Paper, and Scissors, and this is a, a foreign indie film directed by Martin uh, Blusson and uh, Macarena Garcia Lenzi. And we get the story of three siblings. We have Magdalena, Maria, and Jesus. Now, Maria and Jesus have lived with their father for ages in their family home. Their father had an accident, and Maria had to take care of him. Well, he has passed on. Now, Magdalena shows up, and she wants to help take care of the legal matters and the arrangements and all of that you know that are involved with the passing of a parent well there was an accident that happens at the house that causes Magdalena to end up being uh at the house longer than she planned because she can't go anywhere with her injury and she's being taken care of by her siblings taken care of but as the events play out we realize not as everything as it seems in the household they have some dark secrets some very rough relationships between these three that could end up proving fatal uh this is a, a very this is a slow methodic atmospheric horror thriller that I dug quite a bit. I was not sure where they were going to go with these three characters. Very character driven as you can imagine. All takes place in one house which was shot beautifully. I loved the cinematography in here where they made the house seem big yet small at the same time. You could tell where you are in the house and all that so they shot that well but it really the, the way they shot it and especially the lighting and and the way it, it like just had this creepy atmosphere which was very fitting for the characters that lived there now uh, magdalena is played by augustina uh servino and i thought she was fantastic in here as the uh one who escaped the family home and uh their family life which wasn't exactly great and the fact that she's trapped in the place that she was trying to get out of for so long is really great to see her struggle with that and also struggle with the fact that she doesn't have the best relationship with her other two siblings especially because there's something not quite right with them which you uh, learn as it goes along now uh, valeria uh, Giercelli, uh, she was fantastic as maria too i i loved her performance she is the one who felt like she was most disconnected from reality but at the same time she was most impacted by the death of their parent because she was the one that took care of the parent because of their accident which had a dark origin um and then there's jesus played by pablo Segal, and his character did not expect to them to do what they did with his character and it was a nice surprise it was a pleasant surprise and it really kept me on my toes it it has a misery type of vibe to it so we'll tell you that as well that uh it's got that misery vibe but it didn't feel like it was trying to replicate that quite a bit but it does have that spirit of a person trapped because of injury being taken care of people who may or may not want the best for you right they do this great thing with the color palette where it's it's kind of dark dark and washed out even in the brighter uh, days it still seems like it's just dark in this house reflecting uh, the dark going ons uh, that have happened there and at, at the ending wow was really a guy a, a kind of a gut punch uh, the dynamic is where it's at though with this the interaction between these three individuals this great chemistry where they play off each other and seeing where the power dynamic goes between the three characters as the movie plays out and as magdalena it gets better also is just a fascinating watch uh, don't let the subtitles turn you off to this film folks this is a great slow burn horror thriller now if you don't like a slow burn horror thriller you like more action more jump scares than that this one's probably not going to be for you but if you like character driven dark pieces uh, that really just uh, take time to develop and breathe and let you explore you know the darkness of people um you're gonna really dig rock paper scissors i know i did and i can't recommend it enough for those of you who like uh, this type of cinema so thank you so much for listening to me talk about this please check out our patreon if you haven't already we got some great tiers there for a very reasonable price check out our merch store as well all those links you can get to on our linked tree which we now have which is in the body of this uh description of this video i thank you all for the 15 years of support we're going strong and have no signs of stopping and that's all because of you and remember as always keep that ticket stub